Drunken Master Paul here, and today we are going to build something. Yes, those of you who know me know that I just love to build things, anything. Just get my hands on some power tools and go. And it could be something teeny and tiny and intimate, or it could be a massive 15 foot tall mech for no apparent reason. And what we're gonna build today is something for an old friend of mine. My name arcade cabinet. Now you've seen this before. Me and my buddy Metal Jesus worked on it a bit, but it's, it's okay. And by that I mean it's just a little bit lame. It doesn't have a top. It just goes and you put a monitor on top of it and, and you just use it, but it's not right. It just ain't right, guys. So what we're gonna do is build a new top for it. And it's gonna kick ass. So come along with me and let's go play with some power tools. Yeah, what you said. So what we're gonna be working with are pieces of 30 by 40 inch, half inch thick foam core. Now I've chosen black because it's gonna work for my cabinet. You can choose white and then paint it. It's a little bit cheaper that way. But the first thing we do is we measure out uh, what the sides gonna look like on this because we have to duplicate it for both sides and then uh, get ready to cut. Let's see how that goes. So of course, before you get started, you should have all of your uh, materials and tools handy. Of course, we need a nice razor knife. Frankly, I prefer to use one with a nice long blade because that way you can slice through the foam core just a little bit better. I was gonna have very, very cheap. Make sure it's sharp. Now, a nice straight edge. I like a nice long metal ruler to work with because you know your blade can't cut it quite as easily and helps keep your line straighter. Really important to have. You also, of course, need your glue gun. Uh, glue gun, I like the bigger size. The little ones don't really stay hot long enough. So I like nice big with a trigger. Of course, along with the glue gun, you'll need a buttload of goose sticks. Any kind will really do. Uh, the cheap white ones are just fine for working with foam core. A colored pencil because this is black. A black pen doesn't really work on the black. And last but not least, we need our refreshing adult beverage of choice. Today's is Stockyard Oatmeal Stout, which I got at Trader Joe's. It's really cheap, it's really good, and great for cold weather because it's really freaking cold out here right now and I need stout. So don't drop it, you gotta drink it. Let's get going. Okay, so now all we need to do is to trace out our pattern onto the foam core and then cut it and then do it again and then build the other parts. Now that we have our two sides all marked out, let's do some cutting. So if you're anything like me, you're hung like a moose. But also what you're gonna do is at some point, you're gonna knock your stock onto the floor and step on it, and that's what I did. I mean, check out my foam cord, see, can you see that? Yeah, I put a big old sneaker print right in my foam core. But fortunately, it wasn't anywhere that I'm gonna be using. So just make sure you do that. If you're gonna do it the DMP way, you gotta, gotta do something really fucking stupid like that. Okay, let's get back to it. So finally, it's time to say hello to my little friend, <laughs> Mr. Hard Glue Gun. So we're gonna sort of put this stuff together. Um, we've got the pieces here, see the cool angles there? Make sure you've got the correct side, not the ones where you accidentally marked on the other side or you had got a big honking footprint on them. We've got our bottom piece. And since we are really precise on our measurements, this is all gonna go together, right? Hot 
blue is hot. So we're pretty close to being done with this actually. Uh, I've got my monitor in here placed uh, in place. I put these little rails in on either side uh, to support the bezel, which is this. So you just slide this right up in there. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty damn specific. Uh. So yeah, I think it's pretty spiffy and it weighs about the same as the beer. Speaking of which, they might need another one. Okay, so I have a confession to make. While uh, working on the bezel for the uh, front of the arcade top, in front of the monitor, I tried to trim off a piece while it was on and it didn't really work out. The blade kind of bent and I, I kind of fucked it up. So there's only one thing I can think of doing to make it right, and that is of course to apply more power. <laughs> We are done with construction. We have where my marquee is going to go. We have a nice bezel put in behind my screen. I went with a uh, this ViewSonic primarily because it's the one I had, but also because it has speakers in it. So since I'm using foam core, of course the edges are kind of rough. So what I did is I got this stuff called T-molding. Now T-molding is really slick. It's smooth and it's got this projection out the middle. You just cut a slot in the edge of your foam core and just shove it in there. And uh, it turned out pretty slick. It smooths things out and gives it a nice professional finish. And uh, yeah, it looks almost like a real arcade cabinet. So check it out. It came out really nice. I'm so happy with the way this looks. I've got an actual arcade machine here, not just a desk with a monitor on it. It's, I'm really, really happy about this. I love my, uh, my marquee. I love the way it looks. I've got hyperspin on here and I'm so stoked. Thank you so much for joining me on building day and I'm going to go kick some alien ass. Awesome. Thanks for subscribing. I'm going to die. Ah.